free Wi-Fi for all Americans. Could it be that, like, you know, the during the Bush administration, they were saying to the, the people working in the post office, you will keep track of what books people are checking out. Ed, in Klamath Falls, Oregon, this is your concern? Yes, Tom. I believe that uh, the government doesn't give you anything for free. If they're giving away free Wi-Fi, it's because they want to monitor the people that are too poor to have their own Internet connection. But AT&T doesn't give you anything for free either, Ed. Uh, and in well, fact, it was AT&T, AT&T that was... It? I'm sure that the government is sponsoring this, this move. It, I, I don't think so. I, I, you know, well, and, and, and if they are, fine, because I, you know, it was AT&T, by the way, that got busted for the, you know, the big spying on people on the web. But, uh, yes, you know, here in San Francisco, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they so, never got busted for their big spying operation down in Florida, where all the inter- where all the long lines come together from around the world. All the internet long lines come to Florida, mm-hmm. and you can be sure that the NSA has a big operation down there. Yeah, I it, my 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 core principle on this, Ed, I am as as uh, concerned. I uh, paranoid is too strong a word, but I'm as concerned as you are about our government becoming excessively intrusive 911 uh, George W Bush and Dick Cheney and 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 their and their bunch use 911 as, as excuse to to turn America so rapidly into a 1984 kind of society you know it, wrongly it was a, it was a terrible thing it was a crime against America I, I'm with you on that that you said that- AT&T MCI if they're still around uh, Sprint, Verizon, whatever you know, you you name it. One of these giant oligopolies, these 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 monopolies. Um, not only do they have no soul. I mean, they're corporations, but they have no accountability to anybody other than their stockholders. At least, if the government is doing something, if enough of us get upset about it, if we learn about it, we can vote the bums out. We can put some political pressure on them. You try to pick at AT and T, they will have you arrested for trespassing on private property. You try to, you know, you show up at your congressman's or woman's, uh, you know, local town hall meeting, you will be able to have your say, or at least part of your say, and you certainly can contact their offices as often as you want. They're not going to get a, a restraining order against you. I, in in every case, I'm with Thomas Jefferson. I would rather have a government of by and for the people, and I'd rather have if there is the commons, if there is something that we all do essentially need, and I think increasingly the Internet is something that we need, then it should be, at least some piece of it, should be provided at some minimal level by we the people. And we the people, all we got left at is our government. That's us. Tom, the government is using every opportunity to spy on us. The AT&T that got busted out in San Francisco, they got busted because the NSA set up a room in the ATT long line I know. division. I know. I know, well, and they got they outed. Room and in the ATT long line division in San Francisco, they have one but in ha- every had major... it, but had but Ed had the NSA not been involved in that there never could have been a Freedom of Information Act request. There never could have been government whistleblowers. We never would have known about it. The very fact that government was at the middle of that is what made it possible for us to know about it, because we still have this concept that the government is us. And that's what concerns me about saying, oh, we're going to get the government out of this altogether, which is what the, you know, obviously the Reason Foundation and all the billionaires want. You get the government out of it altogether, and then things like the Freedom of Information Act go away. You don't have a Freedom of Information Act against AT&T. You do against the NSA. I mean, you know, obviously there's some limits, but you do. And so, well, you know, respectfully... Know about it. Say what? We know about it, but the government is still building that huge data collection center in Utah. I, you know, Don't I understand it, that, and it doesn't stop them. And well, it actually, I think it slowed them down considerably. I think it caused them to be a lot more careful about what they're doing. And I think that as time goes on, we are either going to see more uh, limitations on government activity and greater civil liberties, or less. And if we see less. If it's being done by the big corporations, there's absolutely nothing we can do about it. And if it's being done by the government, at least we can make a stink about it in public and we can vote in people who will do something about it, hopefully. Uh, you know, it's, it's the, uh, that's our last hope, is we the people. And, and it's not we the corporations. And, and that's what the choice has come down to. It's a very binary choice. And thank you very much for the call. I, I respect your opinion, as you know. I absolutely respect your opinion.